Let's move on and go back, in fact, to the regular session, if you don't mind. We had a budget. That's what you all are really there to do. The only thing that yeah. you have to do is pass a budget. You voted against. Yes. You voted for. A lot of your colleagues, as I understand it, Senator Patrick, Chairman, were not particularly happy that after asking for certain things to be in the budget, you then turned around and voted no. Can you explain that vote, please? Sure. Um, most of what I asked to be in the budget that wasn't the budget had been cut, specifically dealing with some education programs that I felt strongly about. Yeah. Secondly, uh, the budget, uh, as the process evolved, became a three-part budget, tied in with uh, House Bill 7, earlier House Bill 10, House Bill 1025. I didn't like uh, what I saw in some of those bills and voted against several of those bills. And at the end of the day, we ended up spending, and you can look at numbers, and um, numbers are in the eye of the beholder, and you yep. can make a case, depending on how you want to look, session to session, budget to budget, rainy day fund, general revenue, combined supplemental budgets. But there was a significant increase in spending. I don't believe... Uh, you know, the leadership made the opposite case. Leadership was handing out literature to show in graphical form that this was actually an extremely modest uh, increase in spending. Well, I think leadership... Uh, is wrong in that, and um, who specifically is wrong? And and I th and I think what is interesting is it the lieutenant governor who's wrong, or, the chairman, is or Chairman Williams? And I think what is interesting, Evan, is that <laughs> a budget. Yes, your answer is interesting. And I, agree. <laughs> I think a, I think a budget that uh, my friends and uh, we have, you know, uh, Kirk and I are friends, uh, and and the Democrats and the Republicans, as John Whitmire said on the last day, we worked better this session together than in his memory, and he's yep. been there longer than anyone, and we accomplished a lot, and Kirk was a huge help to me on our education bills, as were the Democrats, but a budget that Wendy Davis and John Whitmire love is a budget that Republican primary voters and conservatives probably don't. Uh, how long before you voted no did Chairman Williams know that you were a no vote? He seemed caught flat-footed by it. Uh, I, I had uh, said to him early on that I probably was a no vote. I was very unhappy. We, I, we had uh, several key education programs that I believe should have been funded, yeah. and, and they were cut. It was yeah. not explained right. why they were cut. For example, uh, paying for SAT, paying for PSAT, paying for career explorations, pre-K, right. uh, some of those dollars. So despite your best efforts, those things were not in there. Yeah, and, and uh, unbeknownst to me, yet there, was other, there were other uh, programs and dollars that uh, suddenly appeared. Right. And again, so if you, I didn't like how we handled the system benefit fund. I mean, sending out a check for $500 million at one time, uh, I'm really shocked that any Republican could vote for could that, vote quite for frankly. That. Uh, Senator, there are a lot of things in this budget that Democrats didn't like yeah. also. And in fact, in a previous iteration of a budget vote, a couple Democrats, in fact, voted against right. it. You were for it, uh, essentially, probably grudgingly, I'm guessing, but for it all along. Yeah, look, if I, if I, were given the ability to write this budget, I would have written a different budget from the very be beginning part of it. Um, but from the very beginning part, uh, Chairman Williams had indicated that there were things he was going to listen to, he was going to work with us on, and we were going to try to get to a better result. Um, and that proved to be true. Uh, this is not, in my mind, a perfect budget, but it is a budget that I felt comfortable voting for for a couple of reasons. One is, uh, as we went into the legislative session, one of the number, well, the number one priority of the Equity Center was to do away with the factor, and I'm not going to get into the weeds on that, but, but to, to, th there was one specific thing that there was their number one priority. We were able to take care of that. We also wanted to restore uh, a large amount of the cuts that had been made in education. We were able to do a great deal of that. Uh, all the way through, I mean, as that process worked its way through, all the way to the supplemental budget at the very end where there's another $200 million yeah. that was put. Uh, now, I, I agree with Senator Patrick. I, was, I, um, I actually voted against one of the budget bills, not the budget, but one of the budget bills that had dealt with the system benefit fund uh, for different reasons than what he voted against it, but I certainly understand the reason that he felt compelled to vote against that. But I wasn't in favor of doing away with the system benefit fund. Yeah. I think that uh, that was a, a mistake, and that was one of the reasons I ended up voting against um, seven. In addition, this was the, the first time um, since we have been in the Senate that there was actually a, a, a meaningful pay raise for state employees. And for me, that was a big deal that we needed to take care of. You have so a lot of constituents who are state employees. That, that, absolutely, I yeah. do, and um, love them all. <laughs> um, and um, 
and, 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 but it, it, it's really gotten, it was a problem. We needed yeah. to deal with that. In addition to that, we did something this session that, that uh, was, <coughs> ends up being part of the budget, and that is dealing with um, employee retirement system and the teacher retirement system. Yeah. And I worked very hard with Senator Duncan to, uh, to in, in those areas, and we, ma we made a difference. We put money, f uh, f meaningful money for the first time in my memory uh, in mental health care. So, yeah. so there's a lot of good things in this budget that lead to a vote for it, even though it is not you know, perfect. Per not, it's far from perfect. Right. But, and the, the final thing I'll say about it is that this, I, I said this to a reporter right before we voted, in my view, there were more members of the Senate knowing more about this budget than in any previous budget Dan and I had ever been involved in. This process was a far better process of getting to a budget, however you ended up voting on it, right. than I've seen since I've been in the Senate.